Hello, my dear students. I hope you've been well. Então, gente, como eu tinha falado na aula passada, nós iremos tratar sobre as diferentes ramificações de literatura e tecnologia. E como uma das possibilidades, como está no artigo, que no, em um dos artigos que nós lemos em sala de aula e que nós debatemos, está a questão dos videogames, né? E eu pensei que não há melhor exemplo do que trazer um videogame para a sala de aula. Claro que... Com certeza vou colocar vocês em contato também com o videogame, mas em primeiro momento vocês precisam ter essa perspectiva né, de espectador. Fica bem claro que a gente pensa que no videogame tem a questão da narração e da interação. Provavelmente porque vocês não podem nesse momento ter a questão da interação, né, jogar videogame. Então, pelo menos, eu cuido dessa parte e eu quero que vocês fiquem bem atentos aos elementos narrativos, como eles, eles se fazem no, no próprio videogame. Alright? So, let's get started. Eu nunca joguei esse jogo antes. Ele foi uma recomendação de um amigo meu que, que estuda sobre essa questão dos videogames, é pesquisador, entende bem. E ele entende muito bem também a questão da, da relação narrativa e interação, né? Que é o, é o foco dos videogames. E ele me recomendou que eu jogasse Control para que eu pudesse interagir com vocês. Ah, but that's beside the point. Let's start since we just have one hour. Okay. Some options, brightness, speakers, okay. I'll just add in subtitles in case you might need it. I always play my video games with subtitles no matter what. New bureau employees often get lost in the shifting corridors in the oldest house. When in doubt, look for green direction signs and consult the map. Então aqui, mais uma vez, eu gostaria que vocês prestassem atenção em tudo que aparece na tela, sejam esses avisos, para a gente tecer né, comentários, pensamentos a respeito de como a interação se faz com o jogador. Né? No caso aqui, They're seria a instrução. Ops. This see. is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room. And the poster. The picture is something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell and the picture, it's different. For each of us, it can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie, something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Hello? Anyone here? Okay, parece que eu posso movimentar a personagem. So, I want you to notice everything. There was a good scene at the start, right? Giving us some sort of context, which wasn't much of a context to begin with. 
but it's set it's to start a setting you know e aqui eu posso investigar tudo que tem aqui no controle uh, para para que o elemento narrativo possa ir para frente de forma que guie o jogador vocês percebam que na interface podem ter sinais símbolos pontos Qualquer coisa que chame a atenção do jogador para que ele passe na direção certa. Claro, isso muda de jogo para jogo, mas aqui é o caso. Walkthrough Metal Detector, ok. What's this? Oops. <risos> o botão é diferente no meu controle. Open Collectibles. Então tem Collectibles. Ok, isso aqui é o botão de pausa. Qual que é o botão de Collectibles? Mapped area. Tá, então esse aqui é o mapa. Ok. Apparently we can walk in, walk in without any problem. Maybe she works here. I know nothing, so don't expect me to find answers that easily. Well, the place is gorgeous, at least they're sad. I like to see, she was talking about a poster. I mean, I'm pretty sure that was like philosophically. But while running to sprint. Okay, so I can sprint. A door. And a corridor. Well, let's check the small room. The bathroom. Okay. I don't have any business here. <sighs> This really has the atmosphere of a horror game or a horror Federal movie. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. Okay. Printer and office. Yeah, this is a horror movie. A horror game, 100%. That will make me feel scared. That's beside the point. Let's see, there's nothing here. Oh, there's an element in the interface. Let's see. Correspondent security order. I have no idea how to open this. Like, how do I do it? No, this is a pause button. Oh, I just found it. So, there's loadout, assets, missions, and collectibles. Oh, correspondence. Let, let's read this. Oh, I see. Então perceba uma forma que a narrativa se desenrola por meio desses collectibles. Eles são itens, acredito eu, em formato de diferentes tipos de texto com informações a respeito do ambiente que a personagem está inserida. So let's give it a read. Ok, so Federal Bureau of Control, Reminder Center, Objects are not allowed inside the Bureau. Oh, esse foi o item que a gente pegou, o aviso, né, o documento que a gente pegou do detector de metal. Recent incidents have Oops. Necessitated and issued reminder of prohibited materials, unauthorized weapons, pagers, laptops, smartwatches, phones, gaming devices, anything smart. Number two pencils, any ob objects considered iconic representations of an archetypal concept? What the hell? All materials under bureau investigation is to be brought in through the private entrances. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of its policies, please notify your supervisor immediately. Right, because I would notify my supervisor in case of someone's dangerous. Oh, okay. Aqui temos um documento com censura. A shark in his, although secure, permission to follow in basic protocol, shoot to kill. Oh, okay. Okay, this gives me the zoom. Good for accessibility. So we have multimedia, correspondence, case files, and research, and records. So, diferentes tipos de textos, gêneros textuais ou gêneros discursivos, o que vocês gostariam de chamar. Ajudam a contribuir para a narrativa e para o story storytelling. Olha que interessante. Well, let, let's, let's keep going. Holy shit. That's creepy as hell. Another one. Reports reminder. Let's read this. Okay. So, hello. As you all should know by now, there are four reports that are due by the end of a week. We're still waiting on them from a number of people. If you need an extension, please request form R4.E from your supervisor. 
If you think you're, you're exempt from filling an R4, then you'll need to get written permission from your department chief saying so. Remember, R4s are mandatory under Section 75.2 of the Employee Manual. If your R4 requires interdepartmental claims, then please contact the appropriate department head, people, blah, 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 as needed. They'll be busy on Thursday in their annual policy review, so please schedule accordingly. Best, your admin team. I don't really get it, but it's sure fine. Hello? Oh. It's just a man. Hey, I mean, it's scary, excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm a the janitor, by the way. You'll work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, later, you're a helmet. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sound that you want. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. No Aki the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. I <laughs> think don't... about it. I don't, no face. I don't think I know what but language that said, she spoke. I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. It's interesting how they use different languages uh, to add depth, maybe. I'm not sure what's the purpose of the use of languages, maybe for characterization, representation, I'm not so sure. I couldn't really tell, but we can notice that even multilingualism can be seen in video games, and that ties with literature as well. So that's a nice touch, I suppose, if you're, we were to investigate from our area of study. But anyway, let's go. Wait, am, did I go? Oh right, that's the elevator. I'm, the, I don't, I'm at the right place. This cell, this looks like a trap. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? One hundred percent philosophical. It can be literal. <sighs> okay, this seems to be the opening. So I want you to think, what sort of themes do you think this game is going to to be about? Like what is it going to portray? I can 100% get mystery vibes from this. Maybe something supernatural? drop. Pretty cliche, but okay. Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. This doesn't look nice. Oh. Hello. More documents. Let's read this. Ok, so these are the missions. Acho que vocês não conseguem ver isso porque está, minha câmera está no lugar. Grande parte do tempo. But this is the main mission that the game has given us in order to, to get things going. So proceed deeper into the bureau. Ok. Let's see more of this correspondence. Uh, let's try to filter. Ok. This is the unread one. Reminder, drafting any public-facing material. While pending any notifications of death related to the Willow 
A-W-E, please adhere to the following guidelines. Words, phrases to use, words, phrases to avoid, Alaska scissors, blood, bleed, loss, apology, sorry, what? Oh. What is this? I hate alarms. Well, apparently security has something going on. Nah. What do we need to do? We need to investigate something in these offices? Yeah, nothing in this office. I have to move on to the next one. I hear something. Oh, there's another object. There's more stuff here as well. Let's read. Trench, do not disturb. This is Marco Resonance. Okay. Barbara, I am not to be disturbed. Cancel all appointments for the day, for the rest of the week. I can trust them, Barbara, not a single one. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to swear. Oh, damn. Shit. Oh. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> Did she swear? See, it's not my fault. Get up? The murder weapon? Really? Oh, good scene. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> Okay. Let's try to run. Okay, I can jump. I really hope I don't fall. Okay, I'm fine. I can climb ledges. So I guess this is the action. Holy shit. Oh, sorry. I'm not supposed to swear. I always forget that. Okay, so melee. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is fine. No problem whatsoever. Wait, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, instructions. Oh, there is something there. The same gun. Easy so far. Oh, I guess going for headshots isn't a good idea. Does this recharge automatically? Okay, it does. The source of weapon regenerates ammunition automatically when not in use. Yeah, figure that one out.
So think about movies or the TV series you watch. Oh, holy shit. I'm sorry for this fire. There are the action sequences and I guess one of the elements of putting the like the player in the character's shoes is to add in control and then do this the player himself in order to drive the narrative. Enemies drop health elements when damage collect health elements or store health. Okay. Something's coming. This threat. An attack. Duty as director. Keep the Bureau safe. Did you hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. I'm not so sure about myself. Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? Girl, you have a gun. Whoops, sorry. Okay. This is scary. What is that? You can't let this happen. 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 You stopped it. You or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note, remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're well fired. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. Hmm, interessante. Então, além de textos, nós também temos gravações que influenciam no, na compreensão da narrativa. Interessante. Oh, case file. Oh, this is regarding the weapon we just got. Containment procedure, no unique procedures required. Description, para, para utility. The object's form is variable. When bound, the object allows para ut utilitarians to something. This object must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of. The object will determine whether something. If rejected, the applicant is terminated. This process is dictated by this something, through their, though their criteria is unknown. Background. The object was discovered inside the oldest house, in the room that is now used as the director's office. That's where we found the gun and the dead director. If that is him, of course. The popular hypothesis, something, many forms throughout history, I, I, I suppose it means, assumes, blah blah blah, Mjolnir, Excalibur, Faru, Nastra, all weapons, dead, etc. of their wielders. If objects of power are the convergence of forces based on the collective and subconscious, then this may be the original manifestation of that event. Okay, there's a lot going on here, but you can already tell in terms of intertextuality 
several things that this draws from, for, right? From, sorry. Primeira coisa é a questão das diferentes armas de outras culturas e de mitologias, né? Excalibur, Yonir, aquele martelo. E também tem referências a, ao que parece psicanálise. The collective subconscious, is that psychoanalysis? Sorry, I'm not that good with that area. But, hmm, interesting. Let's check more. Research and records. What is this? Okay, internal security personnel. I wonder if these are our enemies. His guards used to center issue bump up rifles. They carried pure to corruption, while the armored guards carry bump action shotgun shotguns. They have no observed paranatural abilities with exception that certain his guards are protected by shielding of dense his resonance. Capable of st stopping bullets. Is this shielding an, a result of prolonged his corruption? Does the his mature in organic hosts over time? More data is needed. Well, it looks like I'm reading a paper. Did the his target individuals with combat training? Does the his blah blah blah? Several questions. These are all questions for later, though it is obvious that corrupted individuals retain knowledge of the use of our weapons. Okay, and there are reports from the president. So much is expected from the director, the responsibility, the privilege. Okay, so more types of text to give the player information. E assim, não se preocupem se, você, se não estiver muito claro para vocês, porque eu não estou entendendo praticamente nada. Tem muitos gaps ainda que precisam ser filled, sabe? E acho que a gente só descobre isso por meio da narrativa. Ok. Hmm, I suppose I have to find something. Maybe if I go in here. Let's keep going. Large corridor, I'm sure there will be enemies around here. The hotline. Secure line of communication. Guidance. Panicked, sorry. <gasps> oh, I died. Okay, so apparently you lose something if you die, and you you don't really have many health points. Okay. <coughs> Let me go through the controls again. So why is the melee attack, and then I just have to aim carefully and actually hit the targets I'm shooting, right? That should be the main, the main thing. And here, here was I was thinking I was, you know, prepared for this. Okay, I can jump. This is my attack. Okay. The hotline. Secure line of communication. Guidance. The dead man. Okay. Oh, so there. Bad at this. Oh, gotcha. Critical hit. Are there are more. Yes, there are. Gotcha. Not bad, eh? Material and defined reading. Let's check that. Oh, it's not an item. This is really creepy. Like, super creepy. I hope nothing jumps out of it. Oh, nice. Uh, let's see. more stuff here. 
correspondence, dinner, reservations. Let's check that one out. Dinner reservations at 7 p.m. at Che Ambre. Wife will meet you there. Lovers are ready for. Okay, this is just to give more uh, information about the environment. It's, this is world build, building, pretty much, in a way. Se vocês acham que isso quebra uh, o pacing, a velocidade da história, não é obrigatório ler esses textos. Eu só estou mostrando para vocês conforme eu pego. Oh, this is a shelter. Ok, correspondente. Marshall Investigations. Eu nem lembro mais o que significa essa sigla. <laughs> ok. For Marshall's eyes only. We checked out the suspected AWE in Duluth. Wasn't anything just like the house before this, and the malfunctioning clothes right before that. My team is getting pretty sick of duds. We need to find better a way to sort the fake AWE WEs from the real things. Or you need to rotate these field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're in route to Sherman Ranch. Next one on the list. Let's hope it's a little livelier there. Livelier, sorry. Sincerely, Special Agent Eno. Okay, good. Let's see what does this do. Oh, this is like a box. Assets? What does this do? Clearance level, undefined reading. I don't know what does this do, but bye. What does this do? Am I supposed to lock myself in here? I don't think I am. Okay, this room is red. Holy shit, central executive. sound that tried to invade me earlier. I think by this point I should stop apologizing for swearing. Everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. Yeah, that really babble's sure. contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over to do that. and over. <laughs> I didn't know it was a radio. <laughs> okay, let's just read the collectible. Urban legends. Urban legends are believed to affect the creation of altered materials. But it can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. Okay, AWE. Urban legends are understood as the modern evolutions of Jung's archetypes. We recognize certain blah 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 informed by our own blah blah blah, blah popularized by our media. We have additionally proven that urban legends can be even artificially blah 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 in po popular culture using blah blah blah. Our bureau made anthology television program. Once the seeds are sound, human imagination exacerbates the details. Certain paranatural phenomena contain clear elements of popularized folklore. AWEs that only occur on blah blah blah, a pair of scissors that consume human flesh, I assume, through two punctures on the whatever. These details, living in the minds of so many, have been given strength through belief. Urban legends are not just stories for children, they are, are paranatural realities waiting to happen. Okay. Legal que eles citam o folclore, eles citam o young, elementos do mundo real que certamente contribuem para uma narrativa. This is really scary. Like, it's not really scary, it's more like creepy, if you know what I mean. Like, people floating, the chanting, which apparently is the hiss or something like that. Okay, more visitor evaluations. <sighs> okay, how to handle and schedule visitors entering the lobby. Okay, so they don't really want people visiting this Federal Bureau of Control. Uh, blah, blah, blah. If they do not leave, then ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? How do you find this place? Their answers are sufficiently harmless. Explain that this is a secure federal office and that they need to leave. Their answer seems blah blah blah, escort them to a private room. There, perform the gutter psychological assessment. Their responses are within the acceptable range of def def defiance? Deviance? I never... 
and also network defiance. See the provided scoring sheet, then blah 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 immediately. There's no such thing as two suspicions. Okay, so they don't really want any kind of people here, any kind of person. What is that? I need an adult. Should I just jump in there? Oh, yeah, I should. That's not fair. Holy shit, this is armor. And I'm being blank. Okay, I can use it. Okay, I have to play this one smart. Questionable. I don't think I am. What's this? Talk to me. We saw you deal with the outfits. Oh. Oh. Speak with the voice in the safe room intercom. Safe. Is it safe to come out? Girl, you tell me. I don't know. <laughs> I kinda have to find out. Okay. Bureau expenditures. Another box. Undefined reading. <laughs> Let's see what else. This is a room alright, but I'm not checking it. Let's check the area first. Interessante que você. No jogo de videogame, dependendo do jogo, você tem essa liberdade de explorar o caminho que você quer. Então, dependendo do jogo. Sorry, tô meio gripadinho. Dependendo do jogo, você consegue tomar outros caminhos e que vai refletir numa narrativa diferenciada. Oh, I think this is a. Oh, this is a shelter. Essa é safe room. Então, dependendo do jogo, você consegue tomar decisões que alteram ou não histórias. Eles alteram a ordem da história, mas ah, o resultado é o mesmo. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. <laughs> Sorry. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA, and, extraordinarily, you. 
You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. <laughs> it's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions and you probably have a million more. So do I. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Só para usar um pouquinho para a gente pensar. É interessante como uh, é presente essa voz interior dela, que compartilha com essa entidade que está junto com ela, provavelmente, mas que de certa forma o jogador pode se inserir. Uh, e você adiciona mais um, um layer, sabe? Mais uma... como pode dizer? Mais uma característica dessa narrativa que é a questão do, do aspecto psicológico da personagem com seus pensamentos, seja ela falando com ela mesma, com alguma outra coisa, ou com o jogador. É, eu acho interessante se a gente for analisar nessa perspectiva. Ok. Você está comigo? Nós fizemos isso antes. Push the hiss out. Plans to hiss corrupted agent. Okay, so where? Oh, there. it out rips them apart oh we lost someone and I have assets what are these used for correspondence let's read more shifted bathroom complaint listen I know you can control building shifts but the executive level restroom has been missing for weeks now I worked my ass off in the Islamabad station for three years I've earned the right to to a nice workplace. <laughs> I'm not reading that word. If you can't bring it back, at least find out where it went. Well, I guess the game really likes to use its colorful language, which it's not a problem for me, but this is this is trying to be an ed educational video, of course, so I can't really keep drawing these words up and down, even though I kind of do it often when I'm like pressured or in a battle situation. But anyway, uh, expenditure summary. Major staffing surveillance data center initiative, construction, minor, office equipment, janitorial costs, mode, mode removal, HQ livability costs. For cost breakdown spreadsheet, CPH5 for five year comparison chart. Okay, whatever, this is just a report. 
Let's talk to Emily Pope. Jesse, over here. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an Altered World event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. A few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench. The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the Hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Mood. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs. The hotline should be in the communications department. Okay, so now I can interact with another character and then ask questions. In the case the player has trouble keeping up with all the, the words, abbreviations, and whatever they throw in. So let's let's pick one of these. Let's pick Hadron Resonance Amplifiers. So HRA stop you from becoming Hiss. Well, it seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one it seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. 
Yet his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Okay, let's check objects of power. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? Got it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> That's how I feel. She said a lot of things really fast, but I don't think I have grasped it. Então não se preocupe se vocês não têm entendido 100% por conta do vocabulário, que pode ser um pouco mais complexo. Não, não é um problema. Outra questão dos jogos que são narrativos, que tem esses elementos, essas diferentes terminologias, você não precisa saber tudo para ter uma boa experiência. Essas muito do que já a imagem nos, nos diz muita coisa, uh, as mecânicas do jogo auxiliam, então não tem problema se você não compreende 100% o vocabulário. E claro, conforme você vai associando as coisas, você vai aprendendo o vocabulário de certa forma. Por isso que os videogames eles são muito direção são produtivos para aprendizado de uma de uma nova língua, né? Eu, por exemplo, aprendi inglês jogando videogame. Não é um problema você jogar com o dicionário do lado. Eu acho que seria um exercício muito produtivo, por exemplo. Você tem o seu próprio diário de palavras que você aprendeu com aquela jogatina, com aquela sessão, e você vai anotando. É uma forma de você poder medir, né? Uh, como que o jogo de videogame contribui para o seu vocabulário, que faz essa contribuição lexical. Anyways, let's ask more questions. Uh, Director Trench. This Trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense, but an echo may be. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But data? that's just a hypothesis on my part. I need okay, the gun whatever. to research it. <laughs> but you better hold on to that given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Data, data, whatever. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. Uh, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. <laughs> How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention. So unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't. Which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. Lots of questions being answered, like, little by little. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. I gosto como o vocabulário é bem contemporâneo. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Well then. Just let me know. Let's have a look around. There's a box here. So we got a few questions. Oops. We got a few We've got a few questions answered, so we can probably go little by little. Center Executive Taco Map. Oh, I have a map now. So I have to go to that part to 
breach communications office. Okay. I think it's here, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. There it is again. Our welcome message. Okay, it shows the missions we had completed and the mission briefings. Let's check the correspondence tra travel costs. Visited the following Nevada, blah blah blah. I don't wonder, blah blah blah. Okay, this is just more world building. Let's see this. This is just a portrait of the director, of Director Trench. Okay. Let's move on. This is scary. Am I supposed to go in again? I don't think I am. It's overpowering here. You don't want me anywhere near it. With you on that. the hang of this. Okay, am I supposed to go in here? Oops. Shelter. Address this. Oh, a case file. Let's check this case case file. An auditory event occurred at the United States Embassy in Havana injuring the majority of diplomatic staff stationed there. Etc. deaths were reported and the outgoing information has been managed in response. Bureau agents arrived at the embassy on the same day as the event was reported through federal channels, but were too late to witness the AWE, which is reported to have been whatever. Staff experienced sudden intense vibrations and noise, accompanied by an intense pressure in the ears. This lasted for whatever minutes, no visual phenomena was witnessed. The scene was cordoned off and the embassy staff were transported to the continental US. After formula I-9 was recited in the vicinity, a single cowboy boot began to vibrate, identifying it as an altered item. The item was contained and brought to the bureau for examination. Oh, I wonder if it's inside. Oh, I'm not supposed to enter here, right? Well, too bad. A bathroom. Another bathroom. Would have thought they would be so handy. Let's see the loadout. Wait, I had weapon mods and I. <laughs> okay, accuracy. 
RC, personal mods. Okay, so I can improve my character with these things that I find in the map. So it encourages you to explore. And if you explore, explore you either find upgrades to your character or you find more lore to the game. Interesting. Health recovery per element pickup. Health recovery per. Let's, let's go with this. Oh, I guess our time is up. So I suppose I have to stop here. Bom, espero que vocês tenham gostado dessa experiência. Eu quero que vocês reflitam bastante acerca de todos os aspectos que combinam a narrativa e interação. Quero que vocês reflitam também sobre como os diferentes elementos que vocês já conhecem são utilizados na narrativa. Então, por exemplo, ali, intertextualidade com folclore, com mitologia. Também gosto como eles utilizam conceitos da área da psicanálise, por exemplo, para construir e dar base para o seu mundo que eles estão que eles estão criando para o jogador. A questão da voz interior da personagem, como que ela funciona, né, na interação com outros personagens, nos diálogos. Será mais essa experiência que eu queria proporcionar a vocês. I hope you have enjoyed this different, well, video lesson. And I want you to answer the questions that I have left in the platform for you. Se você, por acaso, não é meu aluno e está vendo esse vídeo por algum motivo, espero que você tenha gostado da experiência também. Uh, o gameplay ele está sendo gravado de uma forma diferente, né? Ele tem outro foco, então não espere um gameplay streamlined, que eu vou diretamente para todos os objetivos. É mais um gameplay exploratório para apresentar todas as ferramentas né? para os interlocutores, para explicar mesmo como funciona. Que é o que eu fiz aqui para os meus alunos. But you have liked, if you have liked the content, I'm really happy. And as I was saying in Portuguese, I'm going to say in English again. You have stumbled into this video by accident. I hope you have enjoyed it. Its original intent was educational. And that's pretty much it. Well, I'm going to stop for now. Maybe you can record more of my gameplay later if you are interest, interested. But for now, I think I'll stop here. So thank you for bearing this gameplay with me. And that's it. Take care.